Scientists in the U.S. have unraveled the mystery of the Yellowstone supervolcano's underground magma reservoir. A team of geologists and earth scientists now claim to have finally discovered the deep magma quote quote cap that keeps the volcanic system's high pressures and temperatures locked underground. According to the latest models, the lid to this volatile Pandora's box sits between 3.5 and 4 kilometers, 2.2 and 2.5 miles, beneath the northeastern part of the Yellowstone caldera, and it appears to be regularly releasing small bursts of gas holding back explosions. The scientists liken the effect to steady breathing, as if the volcano were fast asleep. However, if enough air gets trapped in the supervolcano's throat, it can occasionally let out a loud snore. Fortunately, the magma cap works like a CPAP machine, keeping the internal pressure relatively stable, allowing the supervolcano to sleep soundly. We've known for decades that there's magma beneath Yellowstone, but the exact depth and structure of its upper limit have been a big question, explains Earth scientist Brandon Schmant of Rice University. What we found is that this reservoir is not capped. It's been there for millions of years, but it's still dynamic. There's now a lot of evidence that there's a magma reservoir in the Earth's crust, just beneath the northeastern part of the Yellowstone caldera. But how deep that reservoir is, and how much magma it holds, is still up for debate, making it hard to predict when the supervolcano will erupt again. Schmant's co-lead author Cheng Long Duan developed a new method for imaging the Earth's crust in the Yellowstone region. The technique relies on sending seismic waves, similar to small earthquakes, into the ground from a vibrating truck to see how they move through layers of rock. As these waves bounce back to the surface, they're collected by hundreds of seismometers. Working with geophysicist Jamie Farrell of the University of Utah, the team developed an algorithm that reads all this noisy data to create a model of the layers in the Earth's crust. Now they've provided what Duan says is the first super clear image of the top of the magma reservoir beneath the Yellowstone caldera. About 3.8 kilometers below the surface, the probing seismic waves suddenly hit a boundary. 
they no longer appear to be flowing through rock. Instead, their sluggish motion suggests they are moving through a muddy mix of supercritical fluid and magma, between 3 and 8 kilometers deep. The scientists interpret this boundary as, quote, the top of a very distinct magma reservoir. According to Schmant and his colleagues' best fit model, half of this magma layer is occupied by bubbles of volatile material. This layer can be thought of as self-enclosed because it is only slightly porous. This means that it lets out only trace amounts of gas, so the overall pressure beneath it remains relatively stable. Beneath the lid, the top of the magma reservoir appears to consist mostly of supercritical water, heated and pressurized to the point where the line between liquid and gas blurs, and rhyolite magma, which is prone to erupting explosively if given the chance. <laughs> 